Hey, what's up guys? It's Fish here and welcome back to the next installment of my Ultimate General Civil War campaign as the Union. As we get closer and closer to the Battle of Richmond at Gaines Mill, we need to go ahead and clear out some more resistance around our flanks. We will be doing both these battles uh, in, you know, in date order. So we do this one first and then we do this kind of smaller skirmish one as well after that. Just to kind of, you know, continue the story of the Civil War. I don't want to be doing something, you know, if the date isn't, uh, isn't correct. So we'll be starting off with Seven Pines. Uh, while our army is preparing at the outskirts of Richmond for the final strike against the rebel capital, we receive an attack on our forces south of the river at Seven Pines. The rebels' in, uh, initiated initiation seems successful and our line is almost broken at the center. We need to act immediately to reinforce and stabilize the frontier. So, you know, that does not sound too good. The rebels are pushing across the river towards us and we need to send our forces to help out. So we can send a small division. Should we just send, if if first, if second corps was bigger, we would send bad. But I think we're just going to have to send first again. Uh, this does mean that, you know, a lot of second corps doesn't get the experience they need. However, we need to send everyone in to go and, you know, support the soldiers. We obviously do have more support as well. I think from the AI, which will be nice. So general, the situation is critical. Our center is under heavy attack and uh, it will soon collapse. You can see some AI divisions here looking pretty depleted. The rebels will attack each split, uh, each split part of our forces and destroy them. So we need to cut, like quickly hurry and reinforce, advance the division, pa patch the lines, and stabilize our battlefield for the rest of the force. We'll take positions north of the river at Gaines Mill, where the next rebel attack is expected. Okay, so we actually get to deploy all of our forces straight away. So this is the question: Do we want to deploy some of our weaker units here to claim victory? Because I think we do outnumber the enemy. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy a few of these weaker units and let 1st Division have its rest. Because 1st Division, as you guys can see, are pretty, you know, two stars. They're pretty veteranized. So I'm going to give them a break and just deploy the whole of, um, the whole of 2nd and the whole of 1st with some cannon support. So yeah, and the whole of 3rd, I should say. So we'll deploy these guys. We'll deploy this. And I think that'll be enough. So we'll bring one cannon to the fight and then just all these units of infantry. I think that's our best bet. Then we'll immediately go and patch this center up, I think. So let's move these guys over a bit more. Um, so yeah, let's move these guys over just, just a tad. We don't want to be quite in that river. Actually, do we do probably do want to be over in that river, right? Can we get these guys to be like just situated here? Yeah, let's get them across the river so they can come in and fill in this crossroads right there. And then the fishermen can just uh, take out and then fit in there. That seems good. And then these guys filling these gaps. Cool. Let's start this battle then. Immediately, we want, to, we want to advance as fast as we can over here. You guys come in and fill in this gap. We want a cannon up here as soon as we can. And then the Iron Brigade, I guess, can move up into this right flank just to keep that protected. I think is fine. We need to make sure we protect this, this middle flank, though, for sure, as the enemy are pushing on us. Already charging by the looks of it. That's not too good. I guess you guys counter charge into the enemy. We should hopefully be winning the day. I'm going to move my general up as well, as fast as I can. Oh, God, that is not good whatsoever. You guys change focus over there to that cannon. You guys need to protect yourselves over there. But I think our right flank is very much going to be falling very soon. Uh, what are the objectives, by the way? Do we have an objective to victory hold the center? And, yes, yeah, so we have to try and um, should, yeah, try and take this from the enemy. I mean, we should be taking some pretty good uh, pretty good shots at the enemy here. We obviously have our reinforcements coming as well. I guess we'll advance into the woodland and try and take it. Because if, if I don't have anyone there, we should be in a pretty good situation. And, you, yeah, you guys just come around there. Because, yeah, as I said, if I don't have anyone here, we should be in a, in a really good situation to fight the enemy. Nice. We managed to break hood. That's perfect. You guys can change focus there. You guys change focus there. The general being here is going to help out. Give uh, Car a bit more support. One of the generals here has been wounded. Oh, the Pettigrew. We know the Pettigrew for sure. So the Irish are going to have to come around this flank. I want to hit the Pettigrew on the flank as best as I can. The Iron Brigade. I definitely see them coming around the flank here. So it's going to be up to the Iron Brigade to hold them back. Obviously, you guys keep on moving. Yeah, we're going to lose this right flank. It's going to be completely overwhelmed. So I guess, I guess we just set up here like so. First, the monk can kind of hold this, this farmland here with their support. And then you guys just come into this side. I think we'll be perfectly fine. And I guess the, these guys come around here and start shooting roads in the, in the side. We do have some reinforcements as well, which we can move up. It's just this, that, that right flank has completely fallen. 
over here. Hopefully, we can get some of that cannon back. We, at the moment, we don't really have a lot of cannon. I guess we'll just kind of surround the Petty Guru and try and take this as quickly as we can. We're definitely doing okay number-wise. They obviously have so much cover in there. Probably our best bet is just to, to solely charge them. They got cannon firing as well. What rifles do these guys have? These guys have the Springfields. They all have the Springfields, okay. I mean, we'll just keep on shooting them. We're obviously taking a lot of fire there. Okay, you guys reform now. Nice, we managed to route them. Okay, Barry, get in there now. You guys get in there now. If we can take this woodland, that would be perfect. You guys come up here now as well. Oh, what are you guys doing? Oh my god, what are you guys doing? Form up, form up, form up. Oh my god, we're going to get counterflanked as well. We're going to have to send Card to help him out. My god, I, I must have sent them to do that, but I, that was a massive mistake by me. Uh, guys, turn. I guess you guys can move down the river now a bit. Bury me then. We definitely want Bury in for sure. Uh, oh, why the hell are you guys over here? Oh, we actually have some, some units coming back, I guess, from, from, the, from routing. I don't know where you guys came from. Maybe you reinforced or something I just didn't see. Thank God, though, we are going to route them, though, with the superior forces we, we currently hold. You guys just intercept them. Because we do outnumber them right now. We're supposed to outnumber the enemy. So I'm kind of happy that, you know, that's the case right now. Yeah, you guys continue to move around. We want to kind of try and push our advantage as well. You know, now my men have arrived, we should be more than capable of uh, pinning away the enemy and, you know, causing massive damage to them. Which is exactly what we're going to be trying to do. You guys move and try and take out their cannon if we can. Because if, be, you know, if we can storm any cannon, that would be pretty good. Yeah, you guys keep pushing there. You guys keep moving around there. We can still supplies as well. That would be pretty nice. We, we obviously don't have a lot of cover right now. But besides that, you know, these guys are just opening up on a lot of their soldiers. So this is a perfect opportunity for us to get some good ranks on our soldiers. Yeah, you guys move around now as well. This is a really good opportunity for us to get some good ranks. So I'm going to try and push this advantage for sure. Let the cannon keep opening up. Keep pushing down on the enemy. We'll cross this little ford and try to get around the back of the, the enemy. We obviously have the cannon shooting as well. They're going into melee there against some skirmishers. Oh my god, if they, if they route from the skirmishers. Come on, boys. There's a thousand of you up against 200 skirmishers. Their rifles... I don't think the rifles even have muskets. Heavy thunder as well, opening up. That's good that we have the cannon in here as well, leveling up. Let's just push our men now. I, I'm feeling pretty confident here. You guys going to, to kind of intercept them. Obviously, we have to come up against you know, a decent amount of cannon fire. But that should be okay. Yeah, we're doing good here. And even if we lose like a decent amount of casualties here, um, that's absolutely fine. We'll be getting good experience. And I think we have enough men to kind of uh, to survive that. Good. We're actually in 40% cover now because of uh, the fields. And they're in no cover whatsoever. They just have basic 25% cover. Well, the fishermen went into... Did I tell them to do that? I guess I must have. Don't know if that was a, a smart move by me or, or a super dumb move by me. But they are going to be victorious. We need to be careful because I don't want to run into any of this cannon fire. You guys just go deal with the cannons. This is why maybe bringing some... Uh, yeah, this is why maybe bringing some cavalry would have been a good idea. First of Vermont getting in the side. This is like the first battle where the first Vermont haven't been like hugely outnumbered or at a massive disadvantage. Come on, boys. Give him a, give him a return volley. They're just charging on. That's fine with me. This will kind of allow me to move up everyone else. Keep going, boys. Time to move up the cannon as well, I think. Heavy thunder move up because I think these guys have the, the 24 pounders, right? We have 24 pounders in this unit. Then we have 12 pounders in this one. That's absolutely fine. Yeah, nice. It's a good job. We are we are definitely, you know, pushing back the enemy. They have a lot of cover there. Let's move up to the woodland now. We've routed them back. You guys move up to the woodland as well. Obviously, get this cannon up here as well. Across the crossroads. You guys just turn around and shoot. We don't really want to be going into melee too much. Just go, go, go get that cannon. Go get that cannon. Fishermen's, I guess, can move up. Okay, they're, they're in a pretty good uh, position. So let's actually fall back here. 
I don't really want to be in here too much. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this little woodland here and kind of outpush that. We, we had the fallback here because we would never have won that engagement against them there. Nice. I think they're trying to send in reinforcements, but obviously we are we are very much overwhelming them. Cannon fire there should help the, the Iron Brigade. We want to kind of turn here because we know they have some men in the woods here. So we oh, should we just go in and try and crush this? Yeah, let's just move in and try and crush this. The cannon should be going very soon. Like one more volley, I think, and the cannon will be gone. They do get, get into canister shot range, which is going to be painful for us. But I mean, one more volley, and that's going to route that cannon perfect. And that, that literally allows the first one to really just move up. These guys can move on to the next cannon. Good. This is a, this is looking like it's going to be a slaughter. We actually have an entire the entire unit back here. Still not doing anything. I don't want to waste my supplies. I actually want to kind of keep my supplies up, but I don't think they actually do, do get wasted too much. Can even move Robson into there. The fishermen's have uh, have definitely taken more casualties than we've lost. We should probably be taking this woodland. Oh god, they, they charged me over here. But that could make us lose some cannon. But again, it's not really my men. So I don't really mind too much. Yeah, we've definitely inflicted enough casualties there as well. Yeah, we're moving these guys into the woods to help us out. Keep on pushing, boys. Uh, cannon, I don't really know what you're quite doing, but I mean, move up. Why the hell not? Keep everyone up. I mean, I guess we should send some men over to this right flank to help out. But I don't think it's really going to matter too much. I want to obviously try and break this unit in the woods. I'm, I'm wondering why the Iron Brigade are struggling so much. Oh, they have much more melee intense rifles. So we're going to volley and run, run in. But I was wondering why they were struggling so much. But it's because they have the, the melee rifles. That was a good canister shot. Oh, that's going to be painful. Hold your, guy, hold your ground. Their morale did stay up, which was perfect. The Iron Brigade standing true. Yeah, I was wondering why they have, but they've got the Springfield... Actually, no, they've got the good rifles, right? Or maybe not. I'm pretty sure the Spring, Springfield M1842s are the good ones. They're like the upgraded version. Oh, you guys probably stop shooting. Nice. We do manage to route them, but that's perfect. And now we just continue on our push. Nice. This seems like it's going to be a, a fairly good victory. Apart from this right flank, I think we're going to pretty much completely annihilate them. Keep on pushing into the woods now. Now their route is the perfect time to advance into the woods. We're routing a lot of their soldiers. Nice. Continue just to shoot them as they run away from the field. You guys keep pushing. Nice. We've completely stopped the, the center from routing, which I'm extremely happy with. You guys get into the, the farmland. The fishermen are going to be up against a pretty intense fire. We're going to have to send some more reinforcements, I think. You guys come in there. And I guess we'll send these guys as well. As long as we've taken the woods, I, I feel very safe in just holding up this position. Especially as we advance all of these guys like so. Just you there, you there, and you there. Oh, they're going to try and probably cross the river and, and fight us here, so let's form up there. I think we completely managed to wrap them here, so we can continue our advance right around this flank. And you can see we are, we are boxing them in. Sending a few soldiers over here. Oh my god, what are they doing? This is sometimes I just get a bit too careless. I, like, I send them to do something and I feel like they do something a little bit different. The first fishermen need to fall back, I think. Just get the hell out of there. At least we brought up some reinforcements. But that's going to be painful. Just run. Run if you guys can turn. Oh yeah, they're just going to rout. I just, I just find myself like I do like 99% of the stuff right and smart. And I just mess up one thing and it just causes such a horrific chain of events. That's going to completely ruin this right flank. Luckily, we have some men coming back as well, though. So it's not all back. Let's move the cannon over here. I guess we'll send the general over here as well and some of the supplies as we continue our advance to just completely route the enemy off. Okay, let's send the 51st. Uh, let's, yeah, let's, let's move Robson into the, into the woods there. Continue to move these guys up. Continue to move these guys up. And I guess we can send car as well over here.
Yeah, we have we have the small kind of standard divisions here. So if we look at the balance of power right now, it would tell us that the, the enemy, we've lost 3,000 men and the enemy have lost 5,000. We're definitely smashing them back in the, in the center here, for sure. Breaking the petty grew. Oh, there's some uh, soldiers over here we need to turn to. Yeah, yeah, the other, well, the other units are moving. Okay, that's cool. If we can cross this river, then we can hopefully maybe steal their supplies. That would be pretty big for us. It was a pretty fun battle, you know? There wasn't anything crazy going on, but it was, it was really fun. For sure. Like, I told you guys to, to shoot them, not charge them. Like, you guys have ammo and stuff? Like, maybe, maybe I just have to pay more attention. We did kill quite a few of them. I'm going to end it because I feel like we're going to lose plenty more men in this section than the enemy are. So we are going to you know, claim victory there. We got a victory, which is nice. Unit-wise, who got the most kills? Car got the most. The 51st Ohio got the next. And the 9th Irish following suit, which is very good. The Iron Brigade did pretty good. Did lose quite a few men. Yeah, their petty group got slaughtered there. Officer-wise, we, uh, we lost a Brigadier General. But he's only wounded. And then we also got a, a Colonel upgrade. We stole a lot of M1855s. Wait, are the M and the the five fives one? I want all the four twos. Like, I surely it's the. What ones do these guys have? These have the five fives. So yeah, five fives are the ones we want. So yeah, we need to probably change their rifles, uh, at some point. We have we have two thousand in the armory, so we can just equip these guys with the right the right muskets. I guess I was working my way down to these guys, um, and I just really just giving these guys all good uh, good muskets. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure they were super expensive. Nice. We almost have enough enough points to get uh, some more money if we need it. Or more manpower. Or we could just get some more 855s. I'm going to wait to spend this until we until I get a look at kind of what the enemy have at Gaines Mill. Because I want to see you know, how many men they have, if we're outnumbered, etc. You know, what's going on. So we can really make the decision of what, what to spend our money on. Uh, same over here. So let's go ahead and get these guys back up to full strength. Unfortunately, no one leveled up by the looks of it. Yeah, no one leveled up. Uh, yeah, no one leveled up, so that's fine. We just need to, to stick these guys back up with our veterans. Oh, did we get we got, got some points in a career, didn't we? So do we want to stick training? I think we do just to, to make it cheaper for ourselves. Because everything else is nice, but I feel like... Army organization could also be pretty good. Because that gives us another, another brigade in a division, actually. As you know, let's do training, and then the next one will be army organization, and then we'll add brigade. We'll add these, this final slot to the brigades, I think, to have our divisions uh, a bit bigger. So for now, we'll just get the cheaper veterans. I did click it right. I did click apply. Indeed, so our veterans are now 17% cheaper, which is going to be uh, very, very nice. So stick these guys back up to 1,500. Yeah, only cost us this, 9,000, which is something I'm more than okay to have. And I mean, these guys got some good experience. The Iron Brigade are almost up to two stars, which is perfect. We need to try and get as many two-star units as possible before we start the next battle, uh, for sure. Because, I mean, we're, we're creating a nice little war chest for ourselves. Uh, yeah, for sure. Just get these guys up to, like, a proper number. It's annoying me that they're, like, on a, on a weird-looking number. That'll do. Fishermen's. Oh, the fishermen's just got smashed. They really did. So they can have a bunch more uh, recruits just because there's so many more men. I mean, you guys can have the veterans. Yeah, actually, look at the look at the, the 59th New Yorkers morale. At, they have a hundred morale. That's how like good they are. It's, it's, it's really cool. And same with the 33rd Bucks. Their morale is super high. They've got melee training as well. So I'm hoping they're just going to be so efficient in melee that they'll just, you know, anyone comes up against them, they'll they'll feel the wrath, the wrath of the of the of the 33rd Bucks. Obviously, we have the whole of of this as well. The whole of second core, which we haven't really touched too much. But, you know, that's fine. So, cool. Let's move on to the next battle. I wanted to do two battles this episode. So, our army is preparing for an offensive operation in Virginian territory. You've been assigned to advance ahead and secure a safe passage for our reinforcements that moved uh, from the northwest. Our scouts report that a significant rebel force under the General Bragg has been deployed on a hill. We need to seize uh, that strategic position and eliminate the rebel threat. Two ironclads will support your advance. Awesome. I guess because it is along the, the river. So, we'll get a decent amount of money if we win this. Again, our 
probably deploy the whole of first core. Uh, oh, we actually get we actually get um, you know the maximum amount of men. Damn, this is going to be a bit bigger of a battle, and we're heavily outnumbered as well. Oh shit! Cool. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna split this up then because I feel like this is gonna be a really fun battle and it's gonna take a while and I don't want people to kind of you know get a little bit bored. So I'm actually gonna stop the episode here. Sorry if you got excited for this, but by the looks of it, we're we're severely outnumbered and we're gonna need to need to push on the enemy um, and it's gonna be an intense battle. The ironclads will obviously help, but hopefully you guys are looking forward to this. I'll see you guys next time and fish out.